But that young Mr. Dillon is here to see you. Now, would you like me to tell him to leave? Nah. Send the kid in. <laughs> okay, okay. It makes can... me laugh. You know, it takes a lot to laugh. Right. It's a train cry. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, you can come in. Hey, hey, what a cut me. I wrote your song. Hey, 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 please, quiet, please. This is a hospital. Gee, what is I didn't mean to upset your nurse, no. Oh, that's just like a woman, kid. But don't think twice. It's all right. <laughs> what are you doing, writing a book? But don't mind me, Willie. Just keep on talking. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just blowing in the wind these days. <laughs> Hell, I feel like I'm a knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I just keep hoping I shall be released. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I was seeing Mick Jagger the other day. I can't get no satisfaction. Me too. I wouldn't know him. He's a complete unknown. He's like a rolling stone. Yeah, I can relate to that. I'm a complete unknown, no direction home. Like a rolling stone? Yeah. How does it feel? It's all right. Hey, that's what I said to Ray Charles just the other day. What I say? It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Said it to him a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Hey, Woody, uh, listen to this song real for you here. Hey, hey, Woody Guthrie, I wrote you this song. Uh, what you think? Well, kid, you may not have much as a writer, but uh, you got a great voice. <laughs> listen, do it more like this. Uh, hey, Woody Guthrie, I wrote you. Song. I wrote you this song. Yeah. 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 I don't believe you. Hey, me, man. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but it's time for your sedative. Ah, you see, kids? They'll stone you when you're playing your guitar. <laughs> well, you must not feel so all alone. Everybody must get stoned, as you put it. <laughs> hey, can I stick around and uh, see if he talks in his sleep? Now, look, lights out an hour early tonight. Remember, it's daylight saving. Well, kid, the times, times they, they are, are changing. changing. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry, I must have made a mistake. No, you haven't. You're just late. Oh? Actually, I think I'd be very pleased with you. Really? Yes, you're quite a feather in the cap. Hello? I've got one. Oh, I think so. Yes, he can talk. No, well, I think you ought to see him. Yes, all right. You don't see many of these nowadays, do you? Simon, what is this do? Oh, not bad, darling. Not really bad. Turn around, you baby. 
Oh, yes, he's a definite boss. He'll look good alongside Susan. All right, Sammy Jim, this is all going to be quite painless. Don't breathe on me, Adrian. I'm terribly sorry, but there seems to be some sort of misunderstanding. Oh, you can come off it with us. You don't have to do all the old anonoidal glottal stuff and carry on for our benefit. I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, my God, he's a natural. Well, I did tell him not to send his real ones. We well, ought to know by now. The phone is a much easier to handle. Still, he's a good type. We'd like you to give us your opinion on some clothes for teenagers. Oh, by all means, I'd be quite prepared for that eventuality. Well, not your real opinion, naturally. It'll be written out and you'll learn it. Can you read? Of course I can. I mean lines, Ducky. Can you handle lines? Well, I'll have a bash. Good. Give him whatever it is they drink. A coca A guitar? Well, at least he's polite. Show him the shirts, Adrian. Now, you'll like these. You'll really dig them, that tab and all the other pimply hyperboles. I wouldn't be seen dead in them. The dead grotty. Grotty? Yeah, grotesque. Make a note of that word and give it to Susan. It's rather touching, really. Here's this kid trying to give me his utterly valueless opinion when I know for a fact that within a month he'll be suffering from a violent inferiority complex and loss of status because he isn't wearing one of these nasty things. Of course, they're grotty, you wretched nit. That's why they were designed. But that's what you'll want. I won't. You can be replaced, cheeky baby. I don't care. And that pose is out too, Sonny Jim. The new thing is to care passionately and be right wing. Anyway, if you don't cooperate, you won't beat Susan. And who's this Susan when she's at home? Only Susan can be, our resident teenager. You'll have to love her. She's your symbol. Oh, you mean that posh bird who gets everything wrong? I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah, the lads frequently sit down the television and watch her for a giggle. In fact, once we all sat down, wrote these letters saying how gear she was and all that rubbish. She's a trendsetter. It's her profession. She's a drag, a well-known drag. We turn the sound down on her and say rude things. Get him out of here. Have I said something of this? Get him out. He's knocking the programmed image. Sorry about the shirt. Get him out! You don't think he's a new phenomenon, do you? You mean an early clue to the new direction? Where's the calendar? Oh, no, 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 it's all right. He's just a troublemaker. The change isn't due for three weeks yet. All the same, make a note not to extend Susan's contract. And let's not take any unnecessary chances. Hmm?
For a Beatles tune, a song by Lennon and McCartney, but with a difference. It's been arranged in the style of an Elizabethan madrigal, and it's now called Thou Canst Not Buy Me Love. I'll buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I'll get you anything, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love, can't buy me love. I may not have a lot to give, but a lot I'll give to you. I don't care too much for money. Money can buy me love. La 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 Money can't buy me love. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. What do you feel about Hollywood? I call it Hollywood. <laughs> Goes something like this. Hollywood. 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 Everybody. Hollywood. Oh, you've heard this. I always wanted to sing the blues, you know, but I don't know. They say a white guy can't sing the blues because a white guy hasn't suffered enough. I guess if a white guy sang the blues, it would wind up sounding like... I have a very nice job, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to law school next year. I have 2.5 children, and I drink imported beer. I've got those white men. <laughs> oh, love that stuff. Soul music, too. I love soul singers. They're great. Soul singers can sing any song and make it sound terrific. It's true. Also, ten times longer than it usually is. <laughs> but they can sing anything. Mary Had a Little Lamb. I said, I said, Mary. I said, Mary. I'm not talking about Patricia. No, no. I said, Mary had a piece of lamb. <laughs> Love it all. Because my favorite is country music. I like country music. I call it yeehaw music. Because every time you go to a country concert, you hear people in the audience go, yeehaw! I'd like to see that happen at a classical music concert. That would be kind of fun. And now the Brahms' first piano concerto in D minor. Yeehaw! 
<laughs> Tell it, Brown, we love you. All right. And you can say anything in a country song and get away with it because it's so pleasant. Last night I kicked the dog across the kitchen. <laughs> I threw the kitten down the laundry chute. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna beat you while you're sleeping. <laughs> hey, that's my way of saying I love you. Yeehaw! Country! That's from the album, The Greatest Hits of Country Punk. <laughs> Featuring songs you'll never hear on the radio. I like listening to the radio, too, because I like disc jockeys on the radio. They talk so fast. I always wonder if they talk like that at home. How are you getting to work today, dear? Well, I'd like to remind myself if I'm driving the work to avoid the freeway. There's a big tie up on exit 17. <laughs> and they always ruin songs. Like if a song comes on the radio with a real long beginning, the disc jockey always talks all the way through it. <laughs> right up into where the singer comes in. So a song like Fire and Rain always winds up sounding like... It's 70 degrees, and we know what's down on the floor. Don't know how it jumps into the maturities. All right, it on. Still shining and off. Big bump of big account. Just remember, clear as still. For those acting blemishes. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day, I love you all. Take care now. Bye bye. Just yesterday morning, the end of the world, you were gone. And then the plan B. It's so true. It's unbelievable. Of course, what's all over the radio now? Rock and roll. The English invasion. People like Boy George. <laughs> There's a father who must be proud of his son. I'm sorry. <laughs> English rock stars are weird. They sound like Americans when they sing. It's so strange. <laughs> we lot to do. <laughs> Our light is single. <laughs> Entitled Susie. <laughs> You're my woman now. <laughs> One. Two, one, two, three, four. Susan, you're my woman now. Don't you know it's true? We should do that to them. Send a group over to England from like New York or something. <laughs> like to do our latest poon. Entitled, Baby, I Love You, Yo. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Baby, I love you. I love you, yo. Confuse the hell out of them for a change. That's what I love. A couple of things I'd like to do. <laughs> Here's another thing I'd like to see. You'll never see it, of course. Sarah <laughs> And that's my new song entitled Who's <laughs> Bruce Bad? From the album of singers you can't understand. <laughs> You'll hear Bruce Springsteen. <laughs>
Got a black magic marker. Got a black magic marker. I've got a black magic marker. Writes just as black as can be. I've got a black magic marker. I hope it never runs out on me. Just keep the cap on it, baby. Just keep the cap on it, baby. Please put it back on when you're through. Just keep the cap on it, baby.